morning from Miami. Today is uh, <clears throat> today is uh, the twelfth of February, and I'm still in Miami, and um, I am uh, doing an event tomorrow on the future of well-being. And so, if you want to come, and if you're in the Miami area, just uh, go to deepakshopra.com and you'll find all the information. Also, um, I noticed that on discoveringyourcosmicsub.com, we now have many participants and they're engaging in conversation, which is really great. So yesterday, the question had been posed about, in your opinion, do we participate in the experience of the universe? Do we live in a participatory universe? And we have amazing answers from Joanne Cooper, from Aurora Carlson, from Derek Whitney. And one of the answers said, as soon as I took my first breath, I knew that I was participating with the universe in the experience of life. That's so beautifully said. And so, yes, we participate in the experience, and therefore, the creation of the universe in every choice, in every thought, in every emotion, in every sensory perception, in every intention, in every insight, we bring our own being into the experience. There cannot be any experience without you being in that experience. As I've said, then when we see ourselves in another person, that experience is called love. When we see ourselves in an object of perception, that experience is called beauty. And beauty and love um, are the essence of our being in every experience. We are the light of awareness that makes experience possible. And the universe is our experience of it. Okay, so we've been uh, basing our discussions on the questions that have come up in this book. Uh, you are the universe discovering yourself, and you can participate in this conversation by joining our community, which is um, the website discoveringyourcosmicself.com. So today's questioner, Jennifer L. Jennifer is very active uh, in the discussion boards. Uh, Jennifer says, very poetically, I saw from a nothingness sprang life. And the moment of life brought its reflection death, the form and its demise. Once I came from the or there, how do I find my way back into the bosom of pure awareness? Very beautifully said, Jennifer. So first thing to recognize is that life is not the opposite of death. So um, the reflection of life is not death. The reflection of life is birth. Birth and death happen in every moment of time. Birth and death happen in every moment of time. So in every moment there's the birth of a thought and then there is the death of a thought. There is the birth of a sensation, there is the death of a sensation. There is the birth of a sense perception, and then there is the death of the sense perception. There is uh, the birth of an emotion, and then there is the death of that emotion. So there is the birth of maybe an image, and there is the death of that image. So birth and death are reflections happening in every moment of time. In every moment of time, that which we call our mind, body, and experience of the universe are uh, being born and they are dying. But life itself is the continuum of birth and death, in which all these experiences come and go in every moment of time. So it was the Buddha who said, this lifetime of ours, 
lifetime of us, not life, lifetime of us, is transient as autumn clouds. To watch the birth and death of beings is like looking at the movements of a dance. A lifetime is like a flash of lightning in the sky, rushing by like a torrent down the steep mountain. But when you wake up to the presence in which that transient, impermanent form and phenomena are happening, then you realize that the real you was never born and therefore is not subject to death. This is the key to waking up. You wake up to the presence of being or awareness in which birth and death come and go in every second. And when you wake up to that, then you realize that uh, you have always been here. Uh, the universe is not a bit unfamiliar to you, even when you come into this form as a baby. So even as you come into this world as a baby and you look around in the world, it doesn't seem unfamiliar, right? Because you have always been there memories, desires, karma, the seeds of which are always in your own being. So how do you find your way back into the bosom of pure awareness? Well, in a sense, you're always there. You never left home. So this is a journey without distance. Returning home is a journey without distance. You never left home. What happened is you got so distracted that you did not notice that you were at home all the time. You know, so in one of his poems, Tagore says, uh, I was not aware of the moment when I first came into this lifetime. And yet in a moment, I also knew that nothing was unfamiliar. I was no stranger to this world. You are no stranger to this world. But when you bring your being and the presence of your being into every experience, then of course you um, can enjoy the experience and also not be bound by it. That is the secret. To enjoy the experience, watch the show, and don't uh, be bound by it. It's like uh, watching a really good movie and you're sitting there in the cinema and you get so absorbed that you forget that you're sitting in the cinema. And there are good scenes and there are bad scenes, but they're going by on the screen. Similarly, in our life, there are good scenes and bad scenes, or what we call bad scenes, and they're flashing by in our awareness on the screen of our consciousness. And sometimes the scenes are so intense that we get into them, bound by them, and uh, they destroy uh, the presence of being. They don't destroy it, they overshadow the presence of our being. So as long as you can be grounded and centered in your being and then act from there, feel from there, think from there, reflect from there, speak from there, then every action of yours, every thought of yours, every reflection of yours, every word that you utter will be healing because it is coming from the home of that which we call wholeness. Healing, wholeness, holy, all the same word. When you are when you're grounded in being, then you are healed and you are holy. And you recognize that um, you actually never left home. You are here, and because here is not in time, the moment is in time, where the flashing screen of consciousness experiences itself as form and phenomena, and even as you observe the form and phenomena, it comes and it goes, you are the screen of consciousness that is um, um, expressing itself as all these form and phenomena, but um, the form and phenomena are passing in time, and you are
timeless being. Timeless being that in every moment expresses and becomes an experience in time. So you don't need to find your way back, you're there. Being is who we are. And then feeling, thinking, speaking, doing are movements in being. This is the true meaning of the expression yoga guru karmani, established in yoga, perform action. See the world as a passing show and enjoy it and don't be bound by it. Okay, so that's my short answer for today. <clears throat> Have a wonderful day and thank you. See you tomorrow. Meanwhile, we are having great discussions and I really thank you for your support for this book, You Are the Universe, discoveringyourcosmicself.com. It's doing very well, by the way. Uh, it's on many bestseller lists, including number one in cosmology, number one in religion and science. In with your help soon, uh, even um, number one in all books, maybe. But let's say detached and watch the passing show. Thank you once again, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.